Good evening, everyone. So since the last time I was standing here, um, a lot has changed. Um, oh, introduction's already been done. Um, so when I was younger, I used to watch the show called What Now? And one Sunday morning, um, Michelle Dickinson was on it and she was doing lots of cool science experiments and it got me really interested in it and I wanted to learn, about, learn more about it. Um, so... As a curious girl I was, I went on Google and then I started Googling her up, searching everything up um, to find out more about what she does and how I can get involved. And around the same time, my parents sent me to get tested because I was always daydreaming and dozing off in class. Um, so then they recommended me to go to the Mind Lab. Um, and a couple months later, I started going during the school holidays and I did lots of workshops such as coding, 3D printing, robotics, and I really enjoyed it. And here I also realized that there weren't many girls doing this sort of stuff as I was one out of two girls out of around 20 in total. Um, and I was lucky enough that my dad works in tech so he was able to find this place. Um, this is a code club. Um, so I first went in 2015 um, at Orion Health and in this photo it, um, in the back there are lots of volunteers that took up their time to come and help us learn many different coding languages. Um, after that I, one of the volunteers, Ruth James, she took me to one of the Bright Sparks events where I then actually met Michelle so that was a dream come true for me um, and this was the start of a relationship. So we then went on to do many things. So she gave me the opportunity to go to Parliament in 2016 to teach the ministers how to code and also be a part of her kitchen science cookbook. Um, after this, I then wanted to get more involved and encourage more girls to get into STEM. So how I did this was I actually started working at the Mind Lab. Um, I also started up a school code club within junior school, so every Thursday lunchtime I'd go down there and I'd teach the year three and year four girls how to code and robotics as well. Um, I then also spoke and helped at the She Can Code event down in Christchurch and I became a code club ambassador. Um, <laughs> um, later on I then also um, was privileged enough to actually go to What Now, the studio also down in Christchurch and um, as you mentioned earlier, I actually became a kid tuber. So my segment was Amelia Cracks the Code. So every week I would make new videos, um, teaching coding and other things to do with STEM. Um, another thing that I started up with Michaela Stokes was Tech Girls and Said. So why we started this was because there, we thought that there was a severe lack of inspirational STEAM events targeted towards teenage girls that take into account our interests, how we engage and who we relate to. We wanted to create a new type of innovative, innovative event for teenage girls thinking of getting into STEM where they can make meaningful connections, learn new things, network, network with others and truly be inspired with a more hands-on and unique approach. So last year on Saturday the 25th of May, we ran our first event. It was for girls aged 9 to 15 and it was at the Zero Building. Uh, we ran a few workshops such as LED circuits and 3D printing to give them a taste of what STEM actually includes and also a confidence workshop. The, um, we, also had a, we also had multiple speakers come in from the industry to talk about their journey in STEM. Um, this event was a huge success to us and the girls loved it and wanted to do more so we started planning for our next event. Um, then COVID-19 hit and during the recent lockdown we saw how much technology um, knowledge was needed to keep businesses alive and how students lost the opportunities to study hands-on subjects as schools were closed. So with the help of our long-term mentor, Dr. Michelle Dickinson, we decided to use our skills to build a community of young people who can learn to build and create no matter where they are in New Zealand. Um, 
we designed a unique STEM box that is going to be filled with electronics and gadgets that will be sent to the homes of those who want to learn. Each kit will come with an online lesson taught by us and an online platform so the students can connect through the program. The lessons will be delivered once a month and each kit will build on previous knowledge so by the end of the four month course, students will have gotten the most of the course. Some ideas on what the course will be focused on include building your own self-watering garden, security, air quality, robotics, make your own speaker, and also wearable tech. Um, not long ago, we were also very fortunate enough to win a grant from the TSV Bank uh, to help kickstart this project of ours, and then also had the amazing opportunity to be interviewed on the AM show. Um, so much has happened this year, yet so little. Um, such as moving schools. So mid-year this year, I actually moved from Dyer to King's. Um, and COVID-19 helped me realise that sometimes we need to actually take that leap of faith. I knew that by moving schools this year would disrupt a lot of things for me and, um, and would be a struggle academically as I also switched a few of my subjects to Cambridge. Um, something that I've come to realise is that it is ingrained in us socially to aim to be perfect rather than to be brave. But I know that this isn't the way to go. Go with what your gut is saying and to do it because you won't regret the outcome even if the journey is a bit rocky.